Hello there. Here we have a quadratic function. It's minus x squared, so that means it's shaped like a frown. It's shaped like this. And we're asked to complete the table below. So in the table we have two rows. We have x values ranging from 3 to 9. And we have the corresponding f of x value. So for example, when 3 is substituted in, we get 0. When 4 is subbed in, we get 5. So we need to sub 5 in and see what we get. So let's go f of 5. And we get minus 5 squared. So we square the 5. Plus 12 times 5. Uh, minus 27. Which is uh, minus 25. Plus 60. Minus 27. So that's 60 take away 52. Which is 8. So we can put in an 8 there. Uh, we need to sub in 6, so f of 6 is minus 6 squared plus 12 times 6. Take away 27, so that's minus 36 plus 72 minus 27. Uh, that's 72 take away 63, so that's 9. Okay, 7 has already been subbed in. If we sub in 8, we get minus the square of 8 plus 12 times 8 minus 27 and that is minus 64 plus 96 take away 27 so 27 and 64 is 91 take away from 96 and you get 5 so you can see it's going up and it's coming down it's symmetrical when we sub in 9 we're going to get 0 again. So uh, just to save time, I won't substitute that in. But if you were to do that, you'll get 0. Now what we're going to do is use table 1 and the trapezoidal rule to find the approximate area of the region bounded by the graph of f and the x-axis. OK, I'm going to do a quick sketch of what this looks like, uh, just to sort of maybe help with this question. So let's go. Uh, let's say this is 3, so that'd be 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And when it's 3, it's 0. When it's 4, we get uh, 5, it's the output 8, 9 will be up here, 8, 5, and 0. So this looks something like this. It's a bit wobbly, but you get the idea. Now the trapezoidal rule generally uses these vertical lines. And it's the heights of those vertical lines. But they're just the y coordinates in this instance. So we have all of those. And they'd be listed as y1, y2, y3, y4, uh, and so on, up to the last one. So let's get our trapezoidal rule from the book of tables. So uh, area approximations, in fact, is what we want. It's page 12. Because it's not exact, the trapezoidal rule. So the rule we want is that a is equal to h over 2 times y1 plus yn plus twice all the other y's in the middle. y2 plus y3. Okay, so in our situation, h is the width uh, from one line to the other line. So that's just one unit. So we have 1 over 2. Uh, y1 is the first height. This here will be uh, y1. Then we have y2, uh, y3, y4, y5, y6, and y7 is the last one. So y7 is yn. So we have 0 plus 0 plus twice the sum of all the other heights. So they are 5 plus 8 plus 9 plus 8 and plus 5 again, uh, which is a half, uh, twice, 5 and 8, 13, and 9, 22, and 8, 30, and 5, 35. Okay, the 2 and the 2's cancel, so we just get 35 units. Now, actually, I shouldn't have put in an equal sign. So uh, what, in fact, I should have put in was a little squiggly 
sign like that because the reason for this is that the area is not exactly equal to this it's approximately equal to that so now what we're asked to do which is not unexpected is to find the integral between 3 and 9 of the function f of x okay so let's remind ourselves what the function f of x is in fact it's minus x squared plus 12x minus 27 and when you get the integral between two limits you're getting the area beneath the function and uh, between the function and the x-axis so really we should be getting the exact same thing or something similar to 35 units but the integral will actually give you an exact area so let's do that now so we're going to integrate from 3 to 9 minus x squared plus 12x minus 27 with respect to x so that will give us minus x cubed over 3 plus 12x squared over 2 minus 27x and then we sub in our limits from 3 to 9 so we get minus 9 cubed over 3 I'm going to put in the 9 first so we'll put a big bracket around that plus 12 times 9 squared over 2 minus 27 times 9 and then subtract uh, minus 3 cubed over 3 plus 12 3 squared over 2 minus 27 times 3 close that bracket okay and just throwing this into the calculator minus 9 cubed over 3 is minus 243 plus 486 minus another 243 and then the next one gives me minus 9 plus 54 minus 81 and in the first one here uh, everything cancels so we just have 0 here and then minus we actually get uh, minus 36 in this bracket so the answer is 36 uh, square units in fact I should perhaps have put in well, I did put in units but I should have put in uh, square units up above because it's not a units of length it's uh, it's units of area so it's square units so that is the exact value so use your answers above to find the percentage error in your approximation of the area okay so the error is the difference between the actual and the approximate so it's one square unit and the percentage error then will be we would compare the one with the actual error which is 36 and then multiply it by 100 over 1 so when we do that uh, we get what do we get we get uh, 2.777 recurring uh, that's dot above the 7 means recurring so if you see that in your calculator it doesn't mean 2.7 it means 2.777 7, 7, it just keeps going so to one decimal place that'll be 2.8 uh, percent don't forget the unit here we're talking about percent so that's the percentage error in our approximation and that completes this question so that's all for now